This is a power trailer and on the power trailer we have an IQ. Uh, I will explain what it is but you see it's, it's actually yeah, it's hooked on the Optimus Prime now and um, yes we have a, a Danish guy here uh, what's your name? Carl. Carl. Yes so you're the inventor of this. Uh... Yes along with the company Green Energy here from Norway. So I'm employed with the company Green Energy and uh, we figured out a way how to deal with uh, all the exhausts from, uh, from petrol engines in, uh, in um, gardening. Okay, so what, what's, what's this thing? <laughs> well, this thing is uh, actually a power trailer. Okay. We, uh, we uh, make and store uh, energy from uh, solar cells in a, in a trailer solution. Okay, so um, what can I show you? What uh, what uh, this is? Uh, yeah. Well, let's uh, let's uh, start by opening uh, the, the solar surface. Yeah, well, like, like this. Yeah, what what the heck is this? <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually uh, one uh, solar plant. Uh, then uh, I'll show you. So it's a, it's like a portable. Yeah, it is solar plant. It is. And how big are these uh, panels? The panels is one meter by one meter. Okay. And how many do you have then? Nine pieces. Nine. Okay. So you say, ah, oh, you flip them out like that. Okay. Wow, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, it's a bit windy today. So, uh, but I mean, <laughs> you know, you're a Danish guy. Yeah. There's some wind in Denmark. No problem. You uh, talked about that too, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, it's uh, made for um, 100 kilometers per hour. Whoa! <laughs> so it's no problem. <laughs> it's almost like technically I could be driving this at 100 ah. kilometers per hour. <laughs> yeah, we, you can. <laughs> and uh, we recommend uh, don't go over the speed of uh, 15 kilometers per hour. Hmm. 15 to 20. But yeah, I guess there's some some legal uh, issues about it. I mean, <laughs> also that, yeah. Yes. But, um, if if it's a problem with the wind, we can uh, we can put in supports. These ones? Yes. Oh, I see. I, I we might need that today. No. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So. Not not at all. Not at all. Oh, I see. So there's some extra support. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. And uh, and if they are in, uh, it's a hundred meter wind, a uh, hundred uh, kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and now we got a surface. Let's uh, put it up in the sun. Okay. Okay. Wow, it's freaking huge! Holy, that is huge. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> nine panels, so that's nine square meters. Yeah. And what's the maximum uh, output? It's uh, a 1,400 uh, watt peak. Wow. Okay. Well, but in no what about what? Oh, what about now? <laughs> now we can see what it produces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Uh, for people who don't know, what is this? This is uh, an inverter. Okay. And the inverter has two um, different um, meanings. First of all, it uh, takes the DC uh, current from the solar panels mm -hmm. and converts it into a volt that we can use for our batteries. In this case, 48 volts. Okay. And then it's uh, capable of turning those 48 volts around to 230 volts. Uh -huh. Or to uh, 110. Uh, oh, I see. Compared to what country we are in. So yes, we forgot to mention there is also some batteries in here. Yes, there is. Uh, this is the small version, so it's only half full of batteries. Okay. And uh, it means uh, that we have uh, 11 kilowatt uh, hours uh, of battery capacity. Wow. But what kind of battery type is it? This is uh, what we call um, uh, tube cell uh, batteries. So it's. Um, it's a lead acid. Uh, no, not acid, but it's a gel battery. Gel battery? Yeah. Okay, but not lithium? No. Uh, lithium uh, has two uh, reasons. First of all, we are in Scandinavia. 
Okay. And a country like Denmark, it's uh, not uh, legal to transport uh, lithium batteries in high uh, oh. amount. Oh. Uh, so, so that's one reason. Uh, the transport and uh, and the next is uh, of course the price. Yeah, price. Yeah, mm. but it's possible to uh, use uh, lithium if the customers want that. Yeah, and maybe if the rules change. Yeah, and uh, and we can we can actually we can put in every kind of a battery. It's uh, it's just uh, what the customers want. And the, you know the lead acid battery. I mean, this is the, the gel type. Yeah. I mean, uh, they can be recycled, right? It's not bad yeah, for the environment. Actually. Uh, the recycling history about uh, lead batteries is actually quite good. It's the first and only good thing we did as a human race. We could recycle and, uh, and we got 99.99% recycling of, uh, of lead battery. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and when these are done, we take them back and uh, put in some new. Yeah. And, we, and we take care of the recycling, it's no problem. Mm -hmm. So the batteries are in here, in the box here? Yeah. But it's also possible to get batteries built into the trailer box. <laughs> wow! So, okay. uh, as a standard configuration, we can deliver from 10 to 50 kilo. 50? Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, with kilowatt hours. Yeah. But it could be much more. Yeah. If uh, you didn't want any tools inside uh, the box here, okay. we can fill it all up with batteries, and uh, there's a whole other deal. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What, what is inside here then? You said tools. There are battery tools. Okay. But uh, yeah, right. well, yeah. let's uh, just check that it's yeah, let's doing we'll, the work. We'll come back there. Okay. You see here, it, you can see the the surface, the PV surface, yes. uh -huh. the inverter, and yes, it's charging. All right. And let's see what we're charging. Ninety-eight point six volt. Okay. What's the maximum? Well, it's uh, it's about one hundred and twenty. Wow. And and one amp. And we uh, put that together, and we we make about 100 watts right now. 100 watts? Yeah. What? I, I not. I was expecting more. Yeah, yeah, but we have shadow. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. Yeah, and you know the the sun in Norway. This is uh, it's winter now, so it's not very strong. So oh yeah, there's some shade here. Yeah. That's a bit unfortunate. Maybe you know if I back up. We, we have we have a lot of. Uh, here so but it just shows that it's very efficient solar cells and mm -hmm. when uh, when you can make 100 watt on this then it's uh, it's perfect yeah I see uh, just to show you here the Sun right now is very low and also in Norway we are so far north so, so the effect of the Sun is not very strong especially not on this time of the year what's 100 watt a year yeah um, it's it's Difficult to relate to, but um, let's look inside. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you have a bunch of tools here, and is this for a uh, like gardener? What's it called again? Yes, it's for everything. It's like uh, what is a bat your chainsaw? Okay, battery driven. Yeah, and, and when we talk about 100 watts, mm -hmm. 100 watts it was we need to fill up such one. Oh, I see. That's... Yeah, so actually we are, we are able to fill up the, what we use right now. This is so much more quiet than uh, the petrol version. Yeah, and it's very powerful. Yes, and you know while some people are working with these tools, you can charge. We are still charging. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you charge a main battery, but you can also charge a small no, no, one. No, right? we, we are also charging here. You charge the main battery, right? No, no, we also we also charging new batteries for the machine. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Charging right now. Yeah. Oh, so you have outlets there. Well, two exactly. over there, and you also have some over here. So they they provide with uh, 200, uh, 230 volts AC, and in other countries it could also be 110, right? Yes, of course, no problem. Wow. And um, and here we got 220 volt and uh, with 4,000 watt. That means about 16 amps. Wait, so that means 
I could charge uh, my Tesla. Of course. We should try that. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but, um, but we could also... Uh, but we can, uh, of course, try something else. Oh, what the heck is <laughs> this? This is, this is uh, for cutting asphalt. Oh, yeah. Oh, so like, well, we're not going to try over here, but... Uh, <laughs> no, but this is uh, not for sissies. This is the uh, real stuff. <laughs> wow. And, uh, let me see. Uh, so oh, you have to spin down. So you can see on the underside there. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is rated for... Uh, this is 2400 watt. Uh, yeah, two, oh wow. <laughs> and you can operate, you can almost operate two of these yes. simultaneously. Exactly. From four kilowatt output. So, uh, so that's also possible. And uh, so you see the, the whole point of this is that uh, you can, like, uh, workers, they can rely fully on uh, renewable energy. This is a complete workplace uh, for three uh, workers in, uh, in gardening. And the gardeners, I mean, now they have to use what the petrol uh, yeah, it's petrol tools. Normally. And what's the like the disadvantage with those? Well, it's not good for your health. Okay. And uh, and then uh, the petrol costs. Okay. Here, the power is for free. Yes. And maintenance. And uh, yeah. there's almost no maintenance here. That's uh, that's the advantage here. No mm. maintenance, no uh, pollution. Yeah. And free power. Yes. And then not a. Uh, not any substance in the exhaust that uh, will uh, that will give you cancer or something like that. Mm. Mm. So there is a lot of advantages. Yes. But, but mainly it's uh, economical. So the what you save is uh, what you pay for this one. Yeah. Because okay. Well, now comes to the another question about cost. Yeah. And what what how much does does this cost? Well, normally this will be a leasing object. Oh. Okay. So uh, so. And it will depend on how we configure it. If you want it without tools, or you want it with tools, or what kind of tools you want. It's, uh, it's okay. very different to give a, a clear answer on what it costs. But let's say the bare bone, without the tools, just uh, the well, system. We can say like this, is to configure it like this, it will be 250,000 Norwegian kroner. Okay. So it's not uh, expensive at all. Yeah, I have no idea how much uh, like usual, I mean, you probably need like generate. I mean, they don't use generators. Or... Well, uh, if you want 230 volts, uh, some place where it's not, uh, you can go on the grid. You have to have a generator. Yes. So they... Okay. Uh, you, you cut out the use of a generator here. Oh, I see. Yeah. So uh, you can use it for a lot of purposes. And if we fill it out with uh, with batteries instead of uh, tools, we can uh, have. Uh, your, your, when you start up constructing something on, in remote places or you don't want to make a, a, a preliminary a grid okay. on, on a work site. Mm. That's also a possibility. Actually, this is more a, a case of what the customers uh, could imagine. Yeah. If they can imagine it, we can deliver it. Oh, I see. So uh, it's, well, we just try to make a platform mm. that fits for everything. And uh, and this fits, yeah. And uh, easy and uh, and no problem. And uh, and it's a proven thing. The iCube uh, is used by military around the globe, by uh, Australian government, by everyone uh, that needs something heavy duty. Mm -hmm. So we know it works. The same with the trailer. It comes from Italy. is uh, built for heavy duty. So we just put in a lot of uh, different components and make it work together. Hmm. So, and we are not done. This is just the first draft of what uh, we are trying to do. This is uh, the start of a power trailer hmm. um, as, a, as a unit. Hmm. Yes, but uh, let's power up the Tesla. It's oh, uh, okay. as possible. We got a 4,000 watt uh, of, uh, of inverter here. So, okay. uh, so of course it can. All right, it, it lights up now. Ooh, okay, 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 let's see. So, I'm getting 13 amp, which is the maximum for the UMC. Uh, but uh, that system could output uh, 4 kilowatt, which is like, I think about uh, 18 or 20 amp. Uh, not 20, actually. 16, 7, 18 amp, roughly. So yes, right now I'm charging the car from 
<laughs> from the trailer. <laughs> okay, so uh, we moved the car for a better position and you can already now see from, <laughs> from the shadow of myself that uh, the sun is still very low. It is like slightly higher now, but uh, again, this is uh, in late November in Norway, so the sun is very low. But despite that, I think we have some higher numbers now. So how much uh, Let's see. power are we getting? Now uh, 120, about 120 volts. 120 volt times about five, six. Five to six, so six times six, seven, around 700 watt. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> in, in a, on a winter day in uh, in far away Norway. Yes. <laughs> so, so that's that's not bad. Yeah. When, um, but this uh, this systems uh, can also be made uh, with uh, three inverters, and then we go 400 volt. Oh, so you have you put three of these together? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, on work sites, uh, we sell these i cubes as uh, single units, and um, and we put them together, three pieces, and get 400 volt out of it. But wow. we could also here on the trailer uh -huh. make uh, three inverters in uh, in the cube and then make 400 volt here on the trailer. And put more batteries in there. Exactly, yes. Oh. So. Well, it's pretty cool. Uh, maybe I uh, can borrow one of these one day, test it out. Of course, no problem at all. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, thank you for the demonstration. Yeah, we say thank you for you uh, borrowing us the Tesla. It was uh, <laughs> very fun to charge the Tesla. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, thank you then. Yeah, all right.